Hello everyone, good morning. How are you doing today? I hope everyone is doing great on this wonderful Thursday morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you are having a great day. Amen. On purpose. Amen. <laughs> so listen, this is Chandra Davis here. Just getting on here really quickly to share with you uh, my five minute words of encouragement on how God has uh, wanted me to encourage you today. So today I just want to encourage you to don't be afraid to mute it. Mute quiet. You, know, Amen. Listen, there are some people, places and things who were maybe in our past seasons and God does not want us to engage in them in this season. And it's okay to mute any voice that's not God's. God's voice has to be the loudest voice in our lives. And I don't know how many of you know, but people have opinions, we have opinions. And even if you're not careful, the things around us, the places around us can also uh, get up and begin to have opinions. But listen, it's so important that we understand that to everything, there's a time and there's a season, you know, uh, and so we have to make sure that, that we are listening to God's voice first and that we are not letting any other voice be louder than our voice. It's okay to mute any other voice. When uh, uh, Elisha was following Elijah because he knew that he was supposed to get the mantle, there were some people along the way that told him, hey, listen, your master's leaving. You might as well go ahead and start. Sometimes even voices of your future will begin to try to speak to you, but it's okay to mute it. He had to, Elisha had to tell the, 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 the prophets when they were like, just come make a school for us had to tell him listen listen it's, it's not it's not that time yet just be quiet sometimes like you don't have to actually physically say it some people places and things they're not bad people they're not bad places they're not bad things but God wants us to stay focused so in order for us to stay focused we have to mute it we have to quiet it and so sometimes it could be voices of our past sometimes it could be voices of our future like with Elisha to people telling you well this is where you're going you might as well go ahead and get going if God said not yet not yet amen and so you have to mute those voices so that you don't get ahead of God and you don't say stagnant behind God. Amen. It's so important that in this season, in this timing, we aren't afraid to mute it, to mute those people, places, and things that God is saying, do not gauge in, in your present so that you can stay focused on your present and what I am doing in the noun season. He said, I am the, I am even over, he's the old ancient of days, right? Over 2000 years, over however long he's still, I am, he is still the present. Amen. So I want to encourage you today. Don't be afraid to mute it. If it's not God in this season right now, don't be afraid to mute it. How do you do that? How do you mute? How do you quiet those voices, those people, those places, those things that were from your past season or even from your future season or even just they're not right now. They're not in the now timing. It all starts with Jesus. Listen, we have to first accept him as our Lord and our Savior. We have to believe in our heart that he died on a cross for our sins and that he rose on the third day. Then we have to confess him as Lord. So listen, this he gives us his spirit when we take on his lordship. Lordship means he leads us and he guides us. He means that we lay down our our will. We surrender our will and we take up his. His. We gain in our spirit a nevertheless. I might want to do this, but nevertheless, not my will, but yours. That's what Jesus said in the garden. Through the things that he suffered, he learned obedience and we have to follow suit we have to say God whatever you want I might not want to do it I might not like it but nevertheless I might not even want to mute it I might want to listen to it I might want to entertain it but listen don't be afraid to mute it and get a nevertheless in your spirit not my our will but God's will be done listen maybe you've already done that and maybe you've taken your life back you you put down your cross and you just begin to do your own thing God said he's married to the backslider he said he's faithful and just if you confess your sins he will forgive you not only forgive you but cleanse you of all unrighteousness he is the redeemer of the time and this is the season today is the day of the Lord's favor if you call on him he'll hear you if you make a step toward him he'll make a step toward you we would love to do that with you we encourage you to do that now even right where you sit God will meet you right there at your point of need amen connect with us like us here davis tips for daily living subscribe to us inbox us we would walk with you i'm chandra davis my husband's anthony davis we're senior leaders at kingdom awakening church look out for davis tips 365 that's our life coach and we would love to walk with you and show you how you mute things people and places from that are that are not in our now season how you quiet them so that you can focus on god we would love to walk with you listen connect with us we are senior leader at kingdom awakening church we meet every sunday at 2 p.m eastern standard time and every Tuesday, we pray at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This Sunday is our Easter uh, Sunday sunrise service. We'll be meeting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We would love for you to connect with us, inbox us, like us here. Share this video. If you know some people who, who are confused or either lagging behind in past seasons or, or looking so much at a forward season that they're missing their now, encourage them today. Share this video. It's okay. 
as you go through your day, as you go through your week, as you go through your month, it's a new month, happy month, everybody. Don't be afraid to mute any voice that's speaking anything other than what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to you today. Amen. Listen, everybody, just got on here really quickly to encourage you. Don't be afraid to mute it. God is on your side. He'll walk with you. Amen. The Holy Spirit leads us and he guides us in all truth and he's on our side. And make it a great day on purpose.